All right, we'll begin with YBNL sensational singer Fireboy DML as he stuns his fans and Afrobeat lovers with an early Thursday release for his sophomore album titled Apollo. The album immediately jumped on the Nigerian Twitter trend as early fans to listen to the full album could not contain their excitement. With generally positive reviews already dominating the comments about the new album, some hardcore fans are already comparing him with self-acclaimed African giant Bono Boy, whose recent album, Twice As Tall, has earned number one status in 22 countries in aggregated numbers across various streaming portals. Apollo features guest appearances from The Smoke, One Day Call, YBNL, Labour Boss, or Lamide. And still talking music, we shine our spotlight on Canadian-based Nigerian Afrobeat soul singer Abdul Karim Tundemus, simply known as Karim, whose debut album, Who Am I?, is already generating a lot of buzz among the immigrant communities in the North American country. Karim hopes that he can someday use his music to introduce some of the pronounced Nigerian culture to the rest of the world. What it takes to fill a load in a room full of bodies that you might know. Hey, Kareem. Yeah. Let's go drink up and smoke up. It's the summertime. Yeah. My inspiration for music actually came from um, when I was little and grandma and mom would be singing to me. And um, it literally just came from that joy that that always formed from that. And then listening to Wasio Alabi, Pasuma, and then going to the likes of Whiskey when I was growing up. And then now, I guess, Burner Boy. And then also inspired by uh, the traditional Western uh, R&B as well. So the likes of Usher, T-Pain, and so forth. And it was just from this uh, early childhood age when I just discovered I have this love for this for music and uh, wanted to always perform and every school gathering I'd be singing a song I'd be performing I'd be trying to get you know involved in any way that was musically inclined and um, even after I moved here it was the same thing and it just felt music just always felt right to me Am I living in a dream? Is this somewhere Music has slowly over time, as of age, become this platform that I use to voice out things that I'm feeling. It's a platform that I use to grow myself internally and to also um, view the world. I use music to view what's going on situationally because you get protest music and I also use music to understand what type of people I'm around, listen to the music that they're listening to and I use music to gauge who I'm dealing with as well, you know, the fact that I create music does that affect the way someone communicates with me or the, the type of music that they listen to, what kind of influences are they letting into their life. So music is almost the goggles and the, the, the shades that uh, I'm using to, to view life. At the point I was at and the, at the earlier phases of my career, I made almost a bit more R&B-ish folk music. So it's, it's sounds that they're similar to here, the sounds that they they enjoy. But um, right now I'm shifting towards the Afrobeats realm. And um, what I also find is they're loving that as well. So there's, there's almost this um, cultural appreciation that, that is going on and the fact that it's rare especially in, uh, in the region man, in, in the region I am in, in uh, Canada, Ontario. It's just, it's very rare to get a lot of Afrobeats artists and um, they're embracing it and they're loving it as well. And we also have Ninja people here as well. So 
we be vibing and I use it to connect to the Nigerians here and to the immigrants here. And um, yeah, there's also almost this mentality of like, you're immigrant, I'm immigrant. I love Afrobeats, understanding, um, understanding Pigeon English and understanding um, everything I'm talking about. And with my songs as well, the fact that there's meaning and there's a message behind every song. I feel like that also helps people connect to it as well, regardless of whether it sounds like an Afrobeat track or a folk track or an R&B track as well. So it's it's been a bit different, but I've used um, I've used what I've learned here and what I've learned back home to be able to kind of connect to different uh, different types of audiences, different types of people, and it's it's been a great, great, great experience making music here, and um, I'm very excited for the next chapter to be able to make music. I live in a dream.